Hi guys, my name is Mani. Welcome to my channel. We have uploaded videos on how to save a school uniform pin up bar on our channel. Before this, we have uploaded pin up bar videos part 1. In that, I have told you what measurement and how to take the pin up bar. If you haven't seen part 1 video, watch it first and watch this video. This video is part 2. In this video, I will show you how to cut the pinna bar top panel. This video is in English audio. However, you can turn on your native language subtitle and understand on your native language as well. Let's get started. Today, I will show you how to cut it the top part. This is the cloth to sieve. Its length is 160 meter. 160 meter will be enough to sieve pinna bar. This cloth width is 58 inches. Let's get started. I will tell you step by step how to cut it. Don't skip and continue watching. This fabric is 58 inches wide and 160 meter long. There is a double layer here. Here is folding. I put the salvage here. Now let's cut this area first. Salvage puts both together. Double layer wrap like that. Now which part we are going to cut? First we cut the top part. Let's cut back and front. This top panel has two layers. Two layers are stitched. It has two layers. It also has two layers. Let's cut this first. First, I draw a three quarter inch margin. Top panel height thirteen and a half plus half inch seam allowance total fourteen. Six inches down from the top. 9 inches here, 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half, add a half inch seam allowance to make 5. Here the width is 8 inches, 8 divided by 2 is 4, adding up to 4 gives 4 and a half, I put 4 and a half. Connect these marks. Neck with two and quarter. Neck drop front neck five. Five from this ready mark. Here we put two and quarter. Here two is enough. Shoulder seam should be 2 and quarter, it's correct. 2 and quarter is ready, this is the seam allowance. Let's get this. We have cut the front panel. Let's make a hot mark here. Front panel two layers. Let's pin the two layers so that they don't slip. Next, let's cut the back part. The back part should also be folded as a double layer. Now, 
make it one inch wider than the front part like this that means the front should be kept one inch inside like this if you see why if you look at this now in this i have kept the front part one inch inside first i have drawn a marker half inch it is for placket sewing after that i have placed the front half inch inside if you look at the top of it you can see the dot marks that is the center mark of the kaja pattern it should be set up like this cut the back piece leaving a total of one inch inside back neck three and a half inches from here let's cut this now we have cut the back part by keeping one inch extra from the front part we have made a mark for stitching half inch away from the back part and also we have made a one inch wide blanket mark from it this is the front part and this is the back part it has two layers it has two layers then this front width we have given one inch extra in this center why did we give one inch extra half inch will be stitched then gaja pattern if you see after stitching the gaja pattern it is stitched like this by placing one on top of the other this is how the stitches are made next we have put some dot marks in the blacked center it is a kaja pattern sewing mark if you look here this is the kaja pattern marks this is the method of cutting the pinna bar top panel front and back next video let's see how to cut the pinna bar box filtered bottom skirt if you like this video please like and share it subscribe to our channel to watch more sewing videos in english see you in the next video thank you